we can remember carpal tunnel syndrome by this scene of the forearm roadway entering the carpool tunnel. The median nerve and flexor tendons of the wrist utilize this carpal tunnel in their journey to innervate and manipulate the hand. Carpal tunnel syndrome results from median nerve entrapment, represented by the median nerve entrapped in tunnel, due to compression at the carpal tunnel, which is demonstrated by the collapsed carpal tunnel. This nerve compression manifests as numbness, tingling, and pain in the affected hand, depicted by the broken sensors, pins, and needles, and pain bolts in the hand. Diagnosis involves two simple, though mildly bothersome, physical exam techniques. Fallon's maneuver, shown by the falling Jimmy Fallon, requires patients to flex their wrists together as far as possible and hold for 60 seconds to assess for pain or paresthesia with more rapid onset associated with more severe pathology. Another exam finding is called Tinell's sign, recalled by the Tin Owl, which involves the practitioner tapping the patient's wrist over the area of the flexor retinaculum in an attempt to elicit pain or paresthesia. Depending on the severity, treatment ranges from conservative, like the use of splints, and pictured here by the splint, to invasive, like carpal tunnel release surgery, viewed here as the surgeon. Lastly, corticosteroids are also incorporated as a short-term treatment option, shown as the steroid stairs. So let's recap carpal tunnel syndrome. Remember that this neurological disorder results from entrapment of the median nerve due to compression at the carpal tunnel and leads to numbness, tingling, and pain. The wrist flexing Phelan's maneuver and tender tapping Tinell's sign are used to aid in diagnosis. Treatments include splints, carpal tunnel release surgery, and corticosteroids for short-term relief. The carpool tunnel is the only way to get to New York that doesn't require sitting in traffic all day. But one day, that all changed when the median nerve was entrapped in the tunnel. There was an accident that left the carpool tunnel collapse. The damage was so extensive, it broke sensors, which shot out pins and needles. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're at it, check out the rest of our upper extremity disorders and injuries Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from supracondylar fracture of the humerus, nursemaid's elbow, anterior shoulder dislocation, and so much more so you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.